I'm going to call the meeting to order. The recording is on. Yep. Or will be. Can you see me if I stand up right here? Where do I need to stand? Where you can stand anywhere you want. All right. I'm going to stand right here. <laughs> so, gentlemen, this is an auspicious evening. After years of hard work on, I would say, all of our behalf to learn how to get along, learn how to work together, learn how to create a better fire department for the town, and now the fire department's officially going to be part of the town. And as a select board, we are excited about that. We're very pleased about it. We believe you are excited and pleased about it. And, you know, the challenge for all of us is we need to continue to work together for the best interest of the town. So I just thought it would be a prop. I mean, this, thanks for the, thanks for the cake, Madam Cake Lady. Um, that we should just, you know, stand here and all sort of smile at each other and congratulate each other on the on the work we've accomplished. And I don't know, Jeff, if you have anything you want to say or Eric or. It's it's been a long bumpy process, and we worked out the bumps, and we come to a consensus, and I think it's going to benefit. There are a lot of things that have popped up recently that I think are going to benefit us being under the town. So um, yeah. I, I think it's, and, and I think the town is going to, um, will see the benefit in us working together amicably. I agree. I agree. And the other thing I would say is, and uh, you all read the news and hear what's going on with some of these other departments. I mean, we're a good example of how to solve problems, not create problems. I think the Berlin Fire Department right now has fewer firefighters than we have are close. I know they're pretty scary. Out. Pretty scary, and, and others, others too. I mean, all all the problems, all the problems that, that you and now we have been struggling with, they're they're everywhere. So, um, we look forward to working together with you to keep the to keep the good news uh, to keep the good news coming. So let's have a little cake. Sounds good. What do you say? And eat it too. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Take the party piece. Corner piece has the most frost. Yeah, the corner piece has the most frost. You can be a fork, right? We have some forks. Yeah, there's Sarah. So everybody grab it and there are no zoom here, right? No. No zoom, no zoom here. Well, the zoom, the zoom. Nice guy to take on with the least problem. The zoom, you're all right, Peter. Google. I have zero pool with Google because they're. Liz, I'm eating your piece of cake, Liz. Sure. Well, I'll put it on some Peter and I'll just send it home on the fire department. No, you got to be good. Okay. I've been having to change this for a while. So Liz is on the phone. This is the wrong number. This is the number. Hi, Liz. You missed, you missed the the long, the long speeches. Okay. So I'm sorry. Yeah. I was looking to hey. see if I could call someone. She's there? Sure. I think she, she said she was going to put herself on mute. Let's see if I can call. Right. Uh, yeah. um, how long were the speeches? It's only 5.03. <laughs> <laughs> they were very extensive. Short and sweet. Okay. Oh, thanks. No. We were counting on you for the speech. Yeah. yeah. Is, is that Liz? You should call in for virtual cake. Yeah. Virtual cake. Christmas. Oh, no, we're not getting each other the section. There's one cake. There's one cake. Well, I mean, yeah. Just say something. No, I'm not asking. I'm just saying. Yeah. 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 Y
Tell, hey, us, Liz. A, tell us a joke, Liz. I don't have any jokes. <laughs> I don't see any of your baked goods here. <laughs> She's sick. Nice. He says shoving cake into his pie hole. <laughs> I think you have cake to with the cake. Uh, Liz, I wanted to see you get your Tesla stuck in the parking lot here. <laughs> <laughs> it gets stuck anywhere. It gets stuck a lot when I have to take it out in bad weather. That's okay. Eric just took a change to a toilet in the truck. Uh, I don't know about you. Only a fire truck. <laughs> well, what's the, what's the prognosis for tomorrow? What? Well, tomorrow night is going to be much of an issue. You don't? Do the ice? Tomorrow night. Yeah, it's going to be above freezing all night. It's supposed to be. Okay. What is it like outside? Dark. 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 Very dark and rainy and muddy. Oh, muddy. Okay. My car, my car said it was 31 and 32 coming down here. Good. So it's wow. right on the edge. Yeah. That's a little cool. bit of spring. Yeah. Yeah. Put another log on the wood stove, Liz. We got enough mud on the back roads, you're not going to slip and slide. Even if they ice over, you got tracks to ride on. Yeah, that's right. Follow the railroad tracks. Quite a bit. Well, it's only a problem with that. I think it's a safe road, like Route 12 to Montpelier, was the best during that week. It was just, it was like, maybe like there's nothing going to do with this road that's had been fixed all the way to the road. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to switch those for a minute. We're going to cut out this. I'd like to build a house where you're willing to cut one of those. Yeah, I want to bring up the gas and one of the spiral. It's pretty yeah, wet. Fill right up. All right. <laughs> there we go. All that flat. Fill it right up. Yeah, Add a little yeah. vodka. I was going to say, would you like something from the left pocket or what? <laughs> <laughs> Although a little slight wire. Yeah. Some of that. Get some drainage and give it a year and then dry right in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's what I'm saying. Mm. <clears throat> Make sure you have a good drainage. It was very good. I like the frosting. Yeah. You have to remember too, they're quite a bit colder than we are. Oh yeah. Anytime. Top of the mountain, like you know, it wasn't snowing. I'm sure it wasn't. Every single night. Is this your night? Absolutely. Boy, look at that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
The glow in the dark is the band around the band. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, you got reflective. I mean, that's all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and instead of having the old ones had the the where. Rescue alarm. There was a, a thing in the back, and that was one that had the two nine cell batteries. And you had to pull that out, and it had two little balls in it. And if you if you turn the air on and you stood around, and you didn't move for thirty seconds, the alarm would start to go off. So you had to shake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that, nice. Now we, we don't have that with these. It's 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 up in the regulator. So you just have to. Shake. You don't have to dance. You just shake the regulator. And so, that's just so that if you have someone that's down, yeah, you know it. And when someone collapses, what I do like about these is you, when you get the mask, you don't have to get it in the right spot and twist it on, it just pops on. <laughs> How many of those did you guys get? We got eight. We had 11. Um, we figured that having um, four in engine one, three in engine six, and one in the rescue will cover us. I mean, if, if we need to, if, if we get a massive influx of people that we would actually have that need, then we look at getting more. But for right now, we figured it's with the people we have, the vehicles we have, that will cover us um, for what we need to do if we need to, to mask up and, and go in. And uh, <clears throat> saved, saved us some money and allowed us to get um, some, some stuff that we wouldn't have been able to get, like the, the battery charger and the extra batteries and the eyeglass inserts. Um, and then extra, we have more masks than we have packs. But that's just so you're not swapping somebody else's mask around. Oh, germs. It gets kind of nasty. <clears throat> what do you clean those with, you said? It's soap and water. The, the, the packs themselves are soap and water. The masks, there's a, it, it's like a bleach cleaner. You just dump them in. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I thought I heard you say you just dip them in water. But it's soap well, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, I, I did say dip them in water. But that, that, I mean, the point I, of that was it, is that there's no electronics and it's, you can yeah, just, you just stick them in. Yeah. 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 Much better than before. Mm. Now, we still have the old ones, though, right? We still okay. have them. We haven't figured out what we're going to do with those. Um, the, bottles, the, the, the bottles that are still good will fit here. So yeah. if we needed extra bottles. Yeah. But we got, in addition to the eight packs, we got 16 bottles. So there's a replacement bottle for each pack. How long does the bottle last? Uh, depends on how fit you, you are and how nervous you are. You can suck a bottle out in right. five minutes, or it's supposedly a 30 minute bottle. Um, Very rarely does it make 30 minutes. 30 minutes mm -hmm. sitting here in a chair, yeah. Right. But if you're hoof and hose and you're excited about going into a building, you're going to be sucking air down pretty fast. Yeah. Uh, if you get 20 uh, out of it, you're doing good. Yeah. And we, um, we pretty much stick with you use two bottles, you're done. Yeah, of, of going in. Yeah, and if, if you're standing outside and you need to have a bottle, that's a different story. But uh, once you once you have been inside with two bottles, it's it's time. Uh, but this was, I mean, this is an example of our working together. There you go. I kept telling you this this train was coming. Yeah, and we resolved it before it really got here, and it had to be. Had to be done. I don't know. No. no, no, no. <laughs> and uh, just to be clear, that was about with ARPA. Those you. were about with ARPA funds, right? Well. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yep. The first yeah. manifestation of ARPA funds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So you guys gave us seventy thousand. We went a little over, which were the balance of that. It's either coming from equipment or from. Um, it came from our checking. Our, yeah, okay. So from. Sorry, yeah. oh, Fundraised okay. money. How much a piece of those? Uh, well, it's seventy thousand divided by eight, and that's it. Okay. They they are not, and Scotts are even more expensive yeah. because they have more electronics in the masks mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah. And I, I think the Scotts are at least a thousand dollars more wow. per pack. Eric, it could be even more. Almost yeah. well, like military equipment. He was out of there funds. Yeah, well, it is. I, essentially, if it has NFPA on it. Yeah, right. right. And the other yeah. nice thing about getting the NSA ones is we got them from Reynolds, which is based over in Barrie, and they can do the inspections and stuff, whereas the Scots, we had to have somebody from Massachusetts and get yeah. them their calendar and 
So this is a lot going to be a lot simpler all the way around. Cool. And may you never have to use them. Well, <laughs> yeah. that, is, that would be the best of all worlds. That would be the best of all worlds. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it like doesn't it matter how much you use them, but you got to have them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The other thing that's nice with this is if, say, we go to Worcester, they have the bigger tanks. If we need their tanks, that strap can adjust to take their tanks as well. So, uh, whereas our Scots weren't compatible with that. So, this makes, and it's supposedly Waterbury is looking at the possibility of going to MSA, and I don't know about. Um, um, Not for good? Yeah, if they're going to switch over. Um, Are you able to recharge those right here? Yeah. Yeah, fortunately, we were lucky. Um, Montpelier had a booster pump that they on their ladder truck, their old ladder truck, that they didn't need anymore. So we benefited from that. And what that does is our compressor will pump up to 4,500 PSI. And so we have tanks in there that have filled various levels. But the what the uh, booster pump does is it takes whatever coming in. So if 2,000 pounds is coming in, then it'll boost it up to 4,500. And it does it very rapidly. So it's uh, it makes, Filling from the compressor itself is a long, arduous task, and it's only one bottle at a time. Or it's, it's still one bottle at a time, but you can zip through those with a booster pump. Yep. We'd, be to you. We'd be happy to show it to you, the whole operation's right in the next two rooms. Sure. And we, and, uh, did they, and we did we did get donated also from Worcester some extraction tools. I hear okay. Not from Worcester. No, 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 from Bolton. 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 Yes. Right? <laughs> they, they went to electric, so they gave us their hydraulics stuff. So. Great. Keep it working. <laughs> How many members are you at today? 11 and one plus one junior. And in the most ideal world? <laughs> <laughs> 30. So, so water, Waterbury one. has, the last count that I knew of, Waterbury has 44. Oh, yeah. Uh, in, a, in an ideal world, I think Middlesex right now with our number of calls, 25 would be really nice. I don't ever see that happening in my remaining tenure here uh, because, I mean, I'm knocking on 62 and we don't have a bunch of young people knocking on the door to come in. There are young people in town, yeah. but the, and it's not just a Middlesex problem. And it's not just because we're a bedroom community. That's nationwide. People don't want to volunteer to do anything. Mm -hmm. It's true. And yeah. well, yeah. yeah. and, I mean, even paid departments yeah. are having issues getting. I mean, when you when you look at EMTs, I don't know what this what the no if there's a statement on when EMTs or even paramedics in Vermont, well, in California, there is no minimum. They're passing a law that, and so their average pay for paramedics is about eighteen dollars an hour. There, California is passing a law that fast food employees' minimum pay wage will be $22 an hour. It just we makes some, some. no sense <laughs> that you're going to pay somebody with absolutely zero training to flip burgers and somebody who's gone through paramedic school at cost of thousands of dollars, you're not even going to get to that level. I mean, it just, it's, it's insane. They went to hamburger you, they're not... <laughs> well, guys, we're on your side of this. We can't solve all the problems, but we want to work with you to solve some of these problems and keep it going. And uh, we're proud of what what you've accomplished and we've accomplished together in the last few years. Very proud. Well, we we are extremely appreciative of our new air packs, and mm -hmm. that's just that's a great benefit of us working together. Absolutely. Yep. And. Uh, all the reports every month, even when I remember. <laughs> when I forget. And speaking of which, are you guys going to meet? Uh, are you coming to the next meeting, or is this is this it? I was. I my plan is that the third third okay. Tuesday of the month is when I'm yep. going yep. for. Okay. Perfect. Well, this is so, supposed to be a party. We don't want to make this seem too businesslike. No. Yeah. No. So I so I didn't do anything up for today. No, no, no. Just, just other than we had a call on the first. And two calls yesterday. Really? Mm -hmm.
Yeah, yeah, we're up to three so far. It's only three. So we're, we're on course. We have three hundred and something calls. This year. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, we're gonna have a busy there's, year. There's an accident on eighty nine. Did you go to that one? Saturday, yeah, yeah, that was the yeah, first one. Yeah. one. Yeah. The yeah. second one was up here, and then there was a medical call. Uh huh. Huh? What yeah. was the accident on eighty nine? So unfortunately, yeah, I was gonna fortunately say. Fortunately or unfortunately, she was. We've got to get over to the town hall and finalize our budget tonight. Well, thanks for coming. Figure out what's going to happen to everybody's property taxes. That will help us all. Thanks. For but we really appreciate we really appreciate coming down here and seeing you. And I think from time to time we don't need to do this all the time. But I think it's good for us to come down here and see what's going on. And we'll put. Well, a, now you got to check on your investment. Put a, right. it. <laughs> hey, we'll, we'll put a we'll put a uh, a hose and a brush in your hand and you can help us. Hey. Hey, so just thank all of you very much. I know you've all worked hard, and I know you are working hard. And uh, Eric's doing double duty. We see him all the time. Um, we live in a wonderful community, and you guys are. I know some of you don't live in live in Middlesex, but you're in the Central Vermont community. We're all lucky to uh, to live here and support each other. And uh, I can't imagine any place I'd rather be. So. Thank you all. One and all. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. We're reconvening our select board meeting. We had a nice little visit with the fire department down at the fire station celebrating the fact that they are officially now part of the town of Middlesex, which was very nice. We had cake, compliments of our uh, town clerk, which was nice. Um, so the big item. Uh, for tonight is to go through this go through this budget line by line and see and I hope we can maybe come up with a final number if we can't we still do have a little time but we don't have much time so what I would suggest is I promised I promised Dorinda uh, we would go through this line by line category by category and that's what I intend to do and try not to jump around all over the place, excuse me, I'm going to get a pen. Um, so Dorinda, do you want to start it out? Um, yes, so um, anything that has to do with salaries or anything like that, we just can skip over those numbers like, you know, unemployment, workers' comp, because it all relates to wherever the salaries end up. So really, under general government, the first place we can start is advertising and printing. Um, and so just starting there, I level funded it. Um, that's always a shot in the dark, whether we're going to, what that's going to come out with. I think we paid for a few things this year out of that money. Um, but I don't know if you want to cut it back. I mean, you're not talking a lot of money there. Um, the emails, which I didn't highlight since the last time Ruben was here. Um, I skipped over select board courses. Has anybody taken a select board course that I should put money in? I don't know. When you I'd go, leave it at zero. When you go through that, could you call the number? The line, well, yeah. okay. So line, I started with line <coughs> 11. Okay. okay. Next one, select board courses. Nobody's done anything in years, mm -hmm. so I didn't fund that at all. Okay. Town email, I think that one's going to change a little bit. Um, I mean, he's, he's recommending, you know, going to the full Office 365 yeah. product. Mm -hmm. And that's, it may be cheaper for a governmental agency, but I think that runs something like six or seven bucks a month per year. Do you use that at work? Which is, which is still, I think, based it's on the numbers that we saw, it's where comparative. We're is it really? Yeah. 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 yeah it so is. it's because it's just not I think he said maybe it was eight or something like that dollars oh. per user, something, something in that range as a start, what? as a starting point. Really? Okay. But um, I think we said there were, 11, I can't remember if it was 11 or 14 users or something like that. I think 11 uh, based on. Well, there's a lot, you know, the committees have distribution lists. There's yeah. actually. Yeah, the, the, the distribution list can all be rolled one. into one, though. So you can yeah. use one. Yeah. Yeah. 
Why? My email account, like the planning commission. I'll, I'll look and see if I can find how many. It was pretty comparative. Like when, we, when we ran the numbers in our last meeting, it yeah. didn't seem like it was it was anything okay. that was running rampant. Because initially it was much well, higher. Well, we're over $100 yeah. dollars a month just for emails right now, I think. Yeah, last time I checked, it was around $120 yeah. a month. Yeah. Okay. That'd be a lot better. It's a lot better product. It, yeah, and the biggest problem is, is we, I personally have had a problem with our emails, the treasurer's Have email, yeah. and they haven't fixed it, and it's been going on for about four months. Right. They've reached out to Rackspace. Um, Rackspace, Rackspace yeah, says so no, and yeah, they're in pretty bad shape. I guess they had a major meltdown. And yeah. It's so, I mean, I don't think there's a huge cost difference there, but that one might have to be updated. I'll put a question mark okay. next the, to that. The other piece of that that Ruben uh, expressed in a positive light was, you know, a lot of the other th things that, that we tend to use, whether it's Excel or Word or whatever, you know, are all wrapped up in that 365, you know, world. Yes. Oh, okay. And... For just email users, there's another product that's a much cheaper product. I mean, so like a committee doesn't need the full office suite. They just need email. Right, right. So so can, you can differentiate, yeah. Right. So I think, you know, that's something that he said that they'd be willing to explore and, and okay. provide us with some yeah. path forward. Yeah, uh, yeah. And it, it seemed to me, you know, that it was a decent path forward. It's yeah, and it's a good it's a good product. Um, well, I guess I, I guess what I'm wondering for tonight is if we should just plug in 14 users at eight dollars a month just so there's a number in there. Well, there's 1,100 in there, which would be. Um, I think the concern was that it's not the 1,100 that there's going to be an, uh, a startup cost as well. What didn't we talk about that? Yeah, there's going to be a you know some kind of a project fee to set it up and all that stuff. Too. Yeah. Right. Well, that's That'll under the separate. computer. That's right. the okay. That's all under right. the whole computer yeah. server. Okay. Well, let's and let's leave it. That. Let's leave it alone. Let's leave it alone on 1100 then. Okay. Um, line 14, property maintenance. Again, I mean, I don't know why there's 100 and cent. We plugged in 175 there. I don't know. We oh. could. I don't know why that's that number, but um, if that's if we were going to paint the town hall or something. But I don't think there's any kind of because the mowing and all comes under a different line item. Right. I mean, I, I think that was when we were thinking we were going to paint the back of the fire station, right. and we didn't do it. Now, thousand dollars. At some point, we need to do it. There's no money in there to do it. So. I, I say we just leave it alone for the time being. So eight. put it yeah. at zero or level fund it to the I'd thousand. Level. I just have to believe something is going to, for a thousand dollars, doesn't pay very much. Yeah, a thousand, okay. can thousand dollars. Can we roll back to the sure. to the town email just for a minute? So mm -hmm. at eight dollars a month for 14 users, it's it's like 1344s. Can we just plug 1350 in there? Yeah. Yeah, Done. that's probably better. Okay. Welch Park, that's um, I, that's the any portion that we have to pay still now, and yep. hopefully that will kind so of. So we're going to hear, and I don't want to. I, yep. I don't want to jump into jump into it now, but I've I've got a significant update on Welch Park for a little later in the meeting. Okay, discretionary fund. That one's going back and forth. Um, last year we took. 4,000 out of it because we were trying to cut the budget. Um, I put it back up to eight. I don't know where you guys feel you want to go. Does, does this discretionary fund typically get spent on like the grant matches and things like that? Or what, what's a typical use for this? Well, you don't have any other. Yeah. Yeah. It's just some odd, it's say, odd thing that comes up that we need to do. So yeah. I would leave it at 4,000. And when, when that money is actually spent, my understanding through a previous conversation was it not, might not necessarily get coded to that discretionary fund, yeah. but in to the, the new, actual in the new world. In the new world, hopefully it will be coded to yeah, the discretionary okay. fund. In the past, it hasn't. Been. That's okay. correct. It just gets coded as a as a regular. Because you want to show, you want to reduce 
you want to show the expense to the building repair or something like that because you never know what's if you just put it to discretionary fund you lose the purpose of that mm -hmm. but yeah, what wasn't was... happening was the second step of it to reduce what was left in that fund okay and that's where i was going with it was does it truly not get spent Right. Or does it just appear to not get spent? Yeah. The money, the money gets else. spent, but it appears to not get spent. spent. That's the right. answer. I know, uh, no offense, Randy, but uh, I know you don't like the term, but uh, that's a proverbial flex money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. And it is. It, the discretionary fund calls it out as such, so yeah. I'm happy with that. But do we agree 4000 is a pr an appropriate amount? Yeah. yeah. I think 4000 28 yeah, doesn't 28 make any sense. was because we had, uh, again, we rounded it down to get under a certain number. Yeah, well, let's just make it 4,000. 4, yep. Are you going to cut it? No, we're going to, it was 4,000 last, last year. Last year. Yeah, right, it was eight, but the projection of the year was eight. Yeah, so yeah, we're going to put 4,000. 4,000. We're going back to 4,000. Yeah. Uh, okay. Legal fees. Mm -hmm. and that's. So it looks like the actual in 2020. Uh, 21 22 was like fifty eight hundred dollars yeah and yeah. it's we've probably got... going to be over the three thousand that's mm -hmm. budgeted for this year we know we've got some stuff coming down right. the pipe, yes, right? we do. so yeah yes we do and there's going to be a call I mean I'm, again I'm not trying not to get ahead of myself but there's going to be a legal cost associated with what's going on at Welch Park mm -hmm. which is going to be a few thousand dollars right I'm sure mm -hmm. and the other one will be the um, that property thing too, mm -hmm. right. and if there's any settlement, I don't know where that would fall. So, right. In the budget. so that might seem like it's a little bit light at the five five k. Yeah. Yes, I think so. Your preference. Seventy five. Okay. Um, town report, Sarah. Um, I've got budgeted in for town report four thousand. Do we have any indication? You know we don't, but that seems about right. It looks like it would be about three thousand dollars to compile. We're looking at a year from now, so uh, this is the first time we're using a, an out of office uh, web designer, someone who's out of state. Uh, who works with jet service, so um, I think that that would probably be about right. But I'll, I'll know after it's done. We'll try to minimize the fee. Okay. Um, county tax. So anyway, VLCT dues. That's a firm number. Okay. Yeah. County tax. I don't know yet. So I just plugged in the same percentage increase that it was last year. Yeah. Um, Central Vermont Solid Waste, it, that's a shot in the dark, but it looks like it's been si consistently 1724, so I put that in again. And the Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission, again, I haven't heard anything there, so I level funded that. Um, Conservation Commission, that's their $500 operating fund that they ask for every year. Elections, Sarah, we put in 3,500. Because what we're gonna have next year is um, right, just a town meeting. And I think that we'll have a presidential, have a presidential primary and that'll be picked up by the state. We spent 33,399 in 22. We budgeted two thousand for the current year, so I put in thirty five hundred. Is that high? Do right. you think? I think that twenty, you know, you put you know, twenty twenty two was a big year for. Um, we still had COVID stuff, so th those increase our cost. So should we go back down to? No, I stick with it. Nothing's mm -hmm. going to go down. Well, we have two thousand in for this year, so and I plugged in thirty five hundred for next year. Maybe go down a little bit. I think it can go down because really the only costs are going to be, uh, it's not going to be like the previous, it's not going to be like uh, 2021 and part of 2022 well, we have to, be, we to absorb the cost of yeah. the only balance. Town meeting balance, that was expensive. Okay. So how so about. So what do you think we need? 25, 3,000? Oh, this was the difference. How about 2,500? Okay. 
uh, miscellaneous expense. I cut that in half because you know we try to categorize everything, but I just left that's that. Another, in there. That's another that's another slushy. Yeah. One um, of Randy's favorite accounts. Yeah. The fire department cake account. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's kind of where that kind of stuff goes. Yeah. Is that oh, no, no, oh, office no. supplies yeah. or whatever. So, um, grant matches. I didn't know what to do here if we're going to put anything in or if that's going to be under the CIP that we talked about that they were creating a. Uh, which yeah. reminds me, the budget committee's not here. Mark, Mark, is, Mark here. is here. Oh, is Mark here? Oh, there's Mark. Okay. Um, I don't know if we're going to put something in under the CIP and, you know, like they're creating a opportunity fund or something like they want to. Let me rephrase that. So I would keep it in here. I wouldn't put it in the CIP, the grant fund. Grant matches. I mean, the question's going to be. I mean, we're going to have grants. The question's going to be, you know, frequently what happens is we can do in kind for our for our match, so the actual cash match isn't that much. But two thousand dollars isn't very much money either. I mean, two thousand is not enough. Well, this so. isn't highway matches, so it's so the in kind is a little bit different. Right. They have their own. Right. 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 I would just leave it. Leave it at two thousand. Yeah. For now, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's possible I mean, it's it could possible be more, could but be we're more, just then we're just figuring out how to pay for it. Pay for it. Um, COVID nineteen. Hopefully, we don't ever have to budget for that again. Um, tax abatements. That's just where at the end of the you know month we write off the people who shorted us a nickel or a dollar or two dollars yeah. or something. So I don't budget for that. Um, so that brings us down. So that leaves us at the general government done. Um, into administration, you can skip everything down to line 41. And that's where I put in, again, office supplies was super high. I don't know why um, it came in at $3,900. This year we've only budgeted 15, so I don't know whether I should go to 3,000 or what. I can't imagine what that was that caused that to go up so high. Maybe it was COVID and it was coded pro improperly or something. Like you were buying stuff for COVID. Fields, things like that. Like that. Office, I mean, cleaning supplies or anything like that. Yeah. I don't so, know. $1,500. What would we have bought that? Did we buy anything new? I, I, I haven't run that number to be honest with you to see what was in it, but I thought it was out of the ordinary. Let's put it that mm -hmm. way. It seems very high. Made, but I don't I'd know. put it back. Put, put it, it back to, to three thousand. Yeah. To how much? Fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, um, equipment repair. I've level funded that. Yeah. I mean, that's a total crapshoot. Some years we have none, and some years we go over. So. Right. Equipment purchase. This is where I put 20000 in for the new server project. And I believe that included the server, the setup, the, the whole project. And that wouldn't be in our capital plan? Well, I don't know. That's... Question, that's where I'm the question the mark. I'm well, looking to my left here. So that that was what I was raising my hand about is that it just I need to understand the process here that if currently we're asking we need to put something out to the voters to approve the capital plan and the capital plan is essentially carrying that cost in there but it's an absolute necessity if the capital plan was not accepted by the voters and we don't put it in the in the budget for year one how does that work um it's an absolute necessity and if, if it is i guess yeah. the the opportunity to have the capital plan shot down um as a whole um, so can it we, exists right can we can we put it in here and leave it out of the capital plan for the time being and then if the capital plan gets approved move it over 
Wait, hold on, Wait, hold you, on guys. you guys. The capital plan the has already plan been approved. This is the capital plan is a process by which you're by budgeting, which you're budgeting right? right? So whether so or not whether you, or not you what what you're what, asking what you're for when you're putting, putting it in a separate line item is is you know how you did you it at the end of this budget you have this capital plan thing that's just a that's part just of a our part budget of our and the town and the is either going to approve, approve the budget or they're going, or they're going to, to not approve the budget all in the budget i mean they have to turn down and then the they can come back and say well we don't agree with the capital plan when we present the budget to them the capital plan's sure. already been like it's done, right? It's it, and it's however we build it, is and use it is 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 it's a function for us in our budgeting process. So when you put that stuff in the budget, like thirty thousand for paving, twenty thousand for town hall, ten thousand for this or that, we're going to be recommending that to the town as a part of this bigger budget. It's not going to be a separate vote, is it? No. Well, but aren't we creating aren't we creating a fund? This is and what that's I'm talking what the about, vote's about at the last meeting. So, for every oh, right. fund that yeah. you have, like a, a town hall fund, you're okay. A road fund, you're fine. But if you have a fund that you, where you want to put in money and roll it over every year, and you don't have a fund designated for that, then you have to go to the voters. And I think that's what Randy's talking about. He's talking about a capital. Okay. Yeah. Fund. So. You're talking about paying twenty thousand dollars on the server next year. Well, that's the whole thing. This is an operational thing because right. it's got to be done next year. It's not planning. Yeah, this isn't going to be rolled anything. over so in the future. This, this is not going to be spent. We want to throw in right. for twenty ten thousand dollars every year for computer problems down the road. Bro, that's anyway, a different that. story. But you have a bunch of funds already, and you can almost divide everything. It's a question of whether or not you want to create a new fund that's an umbrella. And I probably the state right. won't let you but do that with the roads. The appropriate place for this, because it's going to be this year's expenditure, is yes. going to be here. Right. And that's that's where I was going with it, was to say we get this the, the capital improvement fund or whatever you want to call it approved this year, and and things like this that are in year four or five we can that are part of the capital improvement right. process or plan get put into those line items in future budgets. Mark had a comment. Yeah, I think it's already been covered, but again, the larger question here is whether a server, which is a capital asset, eventually makes its way into the capital asset inventory. Because we already know every three, four, or five years, we're going to need a new server. That's what we learned last time. So the question is eventually whether we have somebody fill out a questionnaire, score it, and move it into the capital asset inventory, and then just make sure we know that we'll have to have funding available every three, four, or five years to do it. Okay. So it would, it would make sense to me to leave it here. Yeah, and I agree. The work moving forward, we pull that in after this is approved and put it into that process. Right, and so it does show up in your capital plan for in five years or whatever. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, um, there's not going to be a list of computer upgrade um, from the last I heard, and um, Shelly could chime in on this if need be, but um, they're using the same equipment and all the programs that we currently have, I believe. So that came back out of the budget. That was put in like two years ago when they yeah. came to us and thought we were going to need new equipment to accommodate the software. And the state's backed away from that now. I, from right? my understanding. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, telephone, uh, I basically level funded that. Um, postage, um, I don't know why. I think I because we spent 2500 last okay. year. And we budgeted three thousand. I came down to twenty eight hundred. I don't. I don't think it makes a. But huge there's a postage difference. rate increase. There is a rate this increase. Month, I Did you really? Yeah, yeah. There's another one coming down the pike. Yeah. So go to this time, Peter. I don't I remember what they said it was thousand. going to, but. Must be sixty-five. Ten uh, percent or something. It's pretty good. Well, sixty right now. Isn't it? So maybe leave it at the yeah. three thousand dollars, yeah. okay. and that covers the ten percent. Okay. 
auditing, I bumped that up a thousand dollars. She's been coming in anywhere from five hundred to eight hundred dollars um, every year, different. So I just put in a ten thousand dollar number. Um, listing mileage and expenses. This was a, uh, a number I think I I got from um, the uh, the listers. Uh, let's see, clerical mileage, that's been um, $200 I put in there. Again, the, the rate we pay went up from last year. I think it's up to 62 and a half cents. That's to go to the bank and things like that. Um, uh, clerk and Lister's courses and training, I dropped that to 750. Um, Contract for NEMRIC. Um, we dropped that a little bit in talking with the listers. Um, they're going to try to pick up a lot of the work that we contracted with NEMRIC last year. So hopefully um, the rate there will go down. It certainly is a cheaper per hourly rate. So we dropped it to like 12000 um, And that we really don't know. but. Yeah. Uh, Lister parcel and mapping, we put $250 in for that. Copy or lease, uh, that's status quo. Computer maintenance, this is um, what we put in based on the meeting we had with Ruben a couple months ago that we kind of estimated how much it was going to cost us every month. That's the monthly. That's that the we, monthly yeah. maintenance. Yeah. Um, no consultant fees. Uh, that one's gone. So that takes care of that category. Dorinda, can I just ask a general question? When I was looking at this budget, um, you know, in the Excel spreadsheet, in column D, were those just cut and pasted from the actual approved budget from last year, last town yeah. meeting? Okay. Yeah. They should have been anyways. <laughs> um, let's see. Electricity, 3,000. Heat, I went up a little bit. I, you know, based on what we had spent in 22, um, I don't know if that's enough or not. Why would you go down in uh, electricity when they're going? Aren't we on Washington Electric? Yeah. Fifteen percent increase. Um, well, because I went down, it was twenty. We spent twenty-seven hundred, so I went up from what we spent last year. But I can go back to the thirty-five hundred if you want. I, think I you probably should. I kind yes. of, uh, you know, go yeah, between what on. we've spent and what. You know, we budgeted, and if we didn't use everything we had budgeted, sometimes I reduce it. Yeah, so 15% on top of the actual spending brings us to like 3150 so probably that 3500 is a good, a good number. You want to go back to 3500 Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, heat. Heat. That, I went up 1000 based on what we had spent the previous year. Um, grounds, and this is based on um, mowing and stuff like that, that I got from um, Mitch. Building repairs, I guess that's where we did the, any kind of, I think we did, didn't we do something last year or whatever? That we was had some boiler repairs. Boiler repairs, repairs, is that what it was? Yeah. So I think Sarah had some septic issues that needed to be tied yeah. to. Yep. Yeah. Elevator. So I put that in at 3500 because we spent 3100 but yet last year's budget was 2000 So I don't know which way you want to go with that. Well, yeah, there are a lot of moving pieces to that. I mean, I, yeah, I just, I just don't know. I don't, I don't see us passing a bond issue for improvements to town hall next year. I think it's going to be, you know, at least a year away. So. Um, we're, we know we're potentially facing uh, facing a new furnace or heating issues, whether we put Renai's downstairs and do away with the 
central heat downstairs or whatever we do, I don't know, but for knives are what now, twelve hundred bucks a piece anyway. I think there may be more than that. Yeah, I mean they're probably they're probably three thousand dollars to get one installed, yeah. you know, on each one. Mm -hmm. So you got two of them going downstairs, you got six, seven thousand dollars wrapped up pretty saying. easy. Yeah. Um so But I would certainly I wouldn't I wouldn't reduce it any. And you know, well, that might be a good use for some of our art, but we just have we just have to see where we go. I mean, there are a lot of moving, a lot of moving pieces. But this is a needy building, yeah. and uh, yeah. you, you can spend that amount of money pretty quickly. Yeah, huge so, crapshoot. So leave it at the thirty-five hundred. Yeah. yeah, I would. Uh, the town hall building fund. I moved that down to the other section, to the CIP section. Yeah. Okay. Street lights, I put in for a couple thousand because that seems to be what it ran the previous year. Uh, janitorial, I level funded that. Yeah. So that takes care of the town hall. Um, public safety, we can skip down to line number 73. Um, I didn't put anything in for courses and seminars. Ambulance, uh, that's a firm number. Uh, speed enforcement. Huh. We never spend it, so I dropped it. I agree. I agree. So I put it to, I didn't go all the way down, but I cut it in half to what yeah. it was. And what is the amount of our contract for next year? We well, it's an hour. It's a new hourly rate, so that's. Well, uh, yeah, you signed it in July, so they can't change their hourly rate until that contract's up in June. But it's you, you've allocated seventy five hundred dollars, which equals to a certain amount of. Yeah, but they never spend it. They never spend it. But by then, we'll have a new contract for this year. Right. Yeah, that will work. I think twenty five hundred so. is fine. Um, dog pound, that's another one we hardly ever use, but I just keep the number in there. I don't know if I should or shouldn't. Um, if you take it out, you're going to end up needing it. <laughs> well, I have, that's right. We've used it in the past. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have. <laughs> We've been lucky. It's, it's, too bad, it's too bad the dog pound doesn't also pertain to some of the two-legged dogs we have in town. <laughs> then we'd have to increase it. Watch it. Gotcha. Um, emergency management. I left that in there because the way things have been going lately, I don't. I so that yeah. takes care of that department. That's basically level anyway, right? That's yeah. level. Yeah. yeah, I just kind of level yeah. funded as much as I could. Yeah, there. an increase of five hundred and sixty-four dollars or whatever. It's, yeah. Yeah. Um, fire department, this was all based on the information that Eric presented to us. Um, so nothing has changed in here for that whole group. So I don't know if you want to look at any slashing there. Um, I have a question on the, the radio dispatch figure that's here. Uh, they came and presented a number where it was roughly Twenty-five hundred to three thousand dollars a year, or something like that, for the next ten years that we were, we were going to have to invest. Does this include that number at all? No, it's no, not. It's no. Not. Okay, yeah. that's on top of this. That's on top yeah. of this, and wow. uh, this is just to have their dispatch service. Yeah. Wow. Because that other number, I think, is for. They have to replace. The system over, they right? have to right. replace the yeah. whole system. Yeah. 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 So I, I guess my question is: Do we know enough about like? Is that three thousand dollars a year? Is that due on an annual basis, or is that like come lump sum year ten? We've got a hand over. I think that the I think their intent was that we would start paying the twenty five hundred a year, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so there essentially we're going to create a sinking fund with all the towns contributing, and then whenever they get, yeah, I guess. But I haven't heard I haven't heard anything about that since we got that letter. There was an article in the bridge, maybe. Hey, Mark, can you uh, answer whether or not we included that in the CIP effort uh, at all? I know we talked about it during our meeting with the fire department. We, we have not. We have not yet included it, Randy. Okay. So I guess my suggestion there would be if this 
$28,000 doesn't cover that contribution, we should add that to it? Or well, it's not a capital here. I thought, I didn't think we had to pay it. It was more yeah. or less a planning thing that so that's we were the year gonna 10 we're going to be responsible we're gonna for. We're going to have to pay it. I yeah. think that's the I way mean, that If it's a yearly went. contribution, I would say no, because it's really not a capital piece. It's a service piece that we're putting into them, and then they're investing in a system. So that's where the capital piece comes. But if you're right, if we're holding on to it for 10 years, <laughs> I think we need more information. Well, I don't think, but I don't think it's happened. You don't? No. I mean, I haven't seen, have you seen anything during that? I haven't seen, I anything. Haven't seen anything other than that one thing come through, and right. I was looking for that one thing because I kept a copy of it so we could refer back. I know I have a copy of it electronically stuffed in the, my folders here. Do you? Um, for some reason, I thought we didn't have to do anything. It was just a heads up, this is coming down the road if you wanted to start planning for it. I thought. Okay. But... Yeah. Then I say let's leave it alone, and if we find out different. So, do you, it was, the, the meeting was on the 6th of uh, September, and uh, it was, it was, you, it was concluded by saying that they were still waiting for the state to come through with $3.23 million right. in funding, and if that happened, they would be billed, Middlesex would bill $2,900 a year for 10 years to replace a new system down the road. But nothing, there's been no action from the legislature because they've been out of session. Right. Okay, well, we can leave it out for now, and if we yeah. need to do something with it, we can throw it back in. Yeah, there's something, we can always go back and change it, you know. Yep. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, so I don't know if there was anything else. I, I don't think you can do a lot with that. Um, so. I, uh, yeah, I, I remember what Eric said about, or I, or I should say, I don't remember what Eric said about the stipends going up to 18,000. Yes, so that these numbers are based on the increases that you guys set or okay. agreed to okay. um, back last year. Because okay. I think the actual from 21-22 was only a partial year Correct. of that approved right. change. Yeah, right. it right. was. Yeah. So that's how they based it on this okay. year. Um, and I know Eric was going to, and I don't want to speak out of turn, turn for him or anything, but I believe he was going to try to get here, and it probably, I don't know if it would fall under this or under CIP, but based on what happened um, last week or whatever, he was talking about having, um, oh no, that's something different, never mind. That's not fire department. Yeah, that's, that's highway. <laughs> that's I, highway. I, I did didn't ask I? that question about the fire department. Yeah, okay. okay, yeah, so that one's all set then. Um, and the debt service is not changing, so those are firm numbers, which goes down every year a little bit. So that takes care of it. Dorinda, Dorinda I, have, I just have a question. Do we know yet what's happening with the replacement of the fire department rescue vehicle? Is that still being put off? There's been no talk of replacing it, um, but I can't answer that firmly. I thought we were putting that in the. It was in the. It's, it's, yeah, on, the, it's on the CIP list it, as an. Industry. Yeah, it was. It was scheduled, I think, to be replaced either last year or this budget year. But I haven't heard anything from the fire folks as to the need. So, the, in fact, it's dead or almost dead right now. Our our existing rescue. I mean, they're working hard to try and find a reasonably cost used vehicle. I mean, to to spend the money for a newer or new-ish uh, rescue truck is going to be huge, huge money. So they're definitely working on it. And I think the, the thought was, I don't know really what the thought was, but if the right situation came along, maybe that'd be a good use for some of our ARPA funds, who knows? But uh, okay. they're not, 
they're 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 putting a new steering box in the old truck now so they can continue to use it, etc. Because if, if I remember correctly, it's a 1986 model. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, it's 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 due for replacement, but it, it is still functioning. But we're putting pouring good money after bad into it. But okay. Neither do we want to spend eighty thousand dollars on a new rescue right. either. Right. Yep. Okay. Thanks. Okay. So now to the the fun de department. The big gorilla. The big gorilla. <laughs> Um, I don't know if you want to just have me read each line off and then you guys comment on it, but uh, winter maintenance, road salt, that, um, went up $560. Is, is Eric coming over here tonight? He know? was going to. Well, why don't we defer, we want to defer this it? until he gets here? Okay, then let's... If everybody agrees yeah, to that. Like it, he's, yeah, just as soon happen here. Yeah. Yep, that's fine. Um, all right, so that brings We move us, a ways down the... You go all the way down to line 218. Um, I did not hear from the cemetery. Uh, Sarah did not hear from the cemetery. Um, so I just mm -hmm. plugged in the same number that they have used for as long as I've been here. So yep. we went with $6,900. Okay. Um, recreation department. That was, uh, these were numbers submitted by Mitch. Um, let's see, I did have some notes here about um, uh, Wrightsville Beach dues. Okay, Wrightsville Beach dues, that's a firm number, I guess. I don't, I'm surprised it went up to that, but um, there was some, we, didn't we get a letter on that? They yeah, increased? we did. Yeah, they, yeah. Did. But they were increasing in a dollar resident right. or something yeah. like that. Um, so that's an uh, increase there. The, um, uh, before we cruise too far, the recreation wages, you know, looking at mm -hmm. uh, 21, 22 um, actuals, you know, we're down at like the $4,600 mark, so almost $2,000 below where we are here. Right. Have we seen a significant change in the amount of hours that they've been working or he, to, to look at that type of an increase and well, over what we have been spending? We, we have traditionally been putting in 250 hours um, for him. And, but he has, the budget he submitted didn't have the correct rate of pay or anything. I think you guys You said two hundred and fifty hours? Yeah, that's what we've been budgeting. And it's twenty five dollars an hour. But he did give you a slip, so I 60, think. Sixty two fifty. So he's not far off from that that hourly mm -hmm. plus the three percent or whatever we agree to right. for the uh, the labor increase here. I, so I mean the budget based on that makes sense, but I'm just looking at what we've actually spent mm -hmm. over the last two cycles versus where that is, that's all. Yeah, did you, uh, you guys should have gotten a copy of his, uh, what he put in for a number of hours. I think he put five hours a week for 52 weeks, if I'm not mistaken. It was something like that. Yeah, 260 hours. Yeah. 260. So I don't know if you feel, you know, five hours a week is accurate or not accurate or? Well, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be his actual time, not just he, that he plugs in five right. hours a week, no matter whether he does it or not, right? Well, it's, it's a thing that says, you know, he does a time sheet, but when he submitted the budget to us, and again, I've got so many different piles going was, here. I can give it to you, it was last, last meeting. It was the last meeting? Yeah. How many, wasn't it like five hours a week he had on it? Let me just, uh, yeah, as much as the zoning administrator. Huh? As much as the zoning administrator. Right, which is, you know, uh, that brings up, you know, uh, here we go, I got it. Five hours a week times 50 weeks he put at $20 an hour. Well, currently he's making twenty six twenty five an hour. And you know, I budgeted him for two hundred for um, 
250 hours throughout oh, so the year. So he's not at the 25. No. 26, would you well, say? We I would just say, harkening back to when we basically for a long time didn't have anybody doing that job. Yeah. Things are in a much better state than they were. Yeah. And, you know, I think we need to continue that investment. Yeah, I mean, we can, he does we can do leave it there. That's, yeah. that's fine if that's what he budgeted. And I just, I was looking at the difference between that. Yeah, and I the same thing. He just beat me to it. Right. <laughs> um, I don't, yeah, he put in for, so the other things he did was all the mowing. Um, 24 mowings at Walter Kelly Park, one brush hogging at Walter Kelly Park. 24 mowings at the recreation field, two brush hoggings, three mile bridge road, one broad brush hogging, and the town clerk's office, 24 mowings. Um, then he put in for uh, baseball and soccer field upgrades and lumber uh, for portalettes. Now, we were spending a crazy amount on portalettes, I thought, but according to this, it's $600 for Walt Kelly and $1,000 for the recreation field. And um, I thought we just got a bill from them for like seventeen, seventeen, hundred, $1,700 or $1,800. So, Six thousand. Are they combined? Huh? Are they combined? Yes. Yes, they are. But I don't think that was the whole year. I think that was just the last bill we got. But wasn't that all through the summertime? I, I don't can't, know. I don't have it. It was multiple. It was a couple months. I don't know if it would cover the whole summertime, but it was a couple. I months. would just, I would just tell you, there was a problem in both those places. Mm -hmm. Was it? Well, people using the woods, people going here, people going there. Yeah. You know, I think that's, I think we're in for a penny and for a pound yeah. on that one. And Learn to Swim program was uh, $700. So. Cheaper, huh? so should that, that portalette rental, I mean, I see $1,000 yeah. in here. We may be low. Uh, uh, Maybe yeah. half of what That's for the recreation field, and then there's another one, I think, under oh. Walt Kelly. Oh, okay, and portalette, okay, yep, I see. Mowing in. Oh, I okay. see. Okay. Yep. Yeah. That was combined. Yeah, because yeah, he put it all under the Walt Kelly expenses. So the, the Learn to Swim program, I mean, are they even doing that anymore? We have not done it probably in, well, I know we didn't do it for a couple of years because of COVID, mm -hmm. but I don't think they did it the year before COVID either. I, I say, tried to I say we cut it. Kids. If it comes back to life, we can find the money somewhere. I mean, I think I think if there is a learn to swim program, I think it's a good investment. People right. need to know how to well, swim. Well, absolutely. Just, the yeah. problem was they were originally doing it way back up at first in fitness, right. and then they went to the Montpelier pool, right? And then mm -hmm. they couldn't get time at the Montpelier pool. I right. think was one of the problems, or they didn't have lifeguards. It was something. Yeah. So. Well, like I said, if it springs back to life. A small amount of money we can we can find it in our uh, well yeah. there's a recreation fund so it mm -hmm. can come right yeah. out of the recreation fund yeah, yeah. And okay. but so take it Stop out it. yeah okay um, hey got uh, peter? peter yes it's liz can i make a suggestion sure um and you guys can take it or just leave it and continue the way we're doing but I think it's fine that we're looking at each line item, but to talk about each line item, we're going to be here all night long. So we might want to think about we're some of the line, like maybe putting a dollar cap on what we discussed. The highway budget list, which is where we're going to get into the real money. Yeah, I mean, we're almost we're almost through with all those other things. Uh, okay, but I know I'm, that I'm to, it's really just, just those giant highway items. We were going to look at these line by line. No, no, I realize that. I'm just saying discussing each one and commenting and spending two minutes on each line item is just going to keep us here a long time. Okay, well, we'll try to move it along. We'll do our best. Um, we don't have lives, Liz, you know. This is why we're here. Mark's got a question. Go for it. I, I just want to um, comment on Liz's comment that when I look at what's left of the, these departments, this is chicken feed. 
compared to what we need to deal with, right? If, if we're thinking about how much we need to cut off this budget, and I have a number in my head, um, this isn't, you know, going through these things, you know, saving $700 here, $500 there, th there isn't a lot here. There, these are very small. I, I would rather that we move to the big fish in the sea and decide collectively how much we think we can realistically shave off the budget. I mean, is it 50,000? Is it 100,000? And what the percentage increase we think we want to get down to before we talk about salary increases? Because again, you know, we're going to get hit with the double whammy. Got to get the budget down, then we got to put it back up for the salary increases. Mark, I, I agree with you. I would just suggest we move quickly through these last. I mean, we've got maybe, I don't know, 20 more categories here, and there isn't much to talk about in any of them. Whip through those, and then hope by that time Eric's here and we can get into the highway budget. If not, we're going to have to get into the highway budget without him and rely on Victor. That's right. But that's, you're right, that's where the heavy money is, and that's where the opportunity for, for cuts is as well. And we've got to figure out about the about the percentage pay increase, which is a big... Well, yeah. So can we just zip through these last... Do yeah. we all agree we can zip through these pretty quick? Or end up? There's really nothing to talk about under zoning. Okay. Um, those are all, I mean, you're talking, uh, you know, pretty much everything he said he would need or whatever. Um, Planning Commission, they gave me preliminary numbers like two weeks ago. I never heard back from them. There's a lot of items that aren't even filled in on here, like they gave me no advertising number, they gave me no legal number, um, any kind if they wanted any money for grants, so that one's like still all highlighted. Well, what I would suggest is we, we they spent 614 we got a thousand this year. Let's let's plug it in for seven. Let let's just get through these. So let's plug it in for seven fifty. For what? Advertising. 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 Okay. Um, mail drop and postage. They I think eight hundred. Eight hundred. Eight hundred is fine. They gave me one fifty for the printing and copying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, consultation. They gave me a preliminary number of thirty five hundred. For the future grant match, I would just mark, mark match what they have. How do they have to consult if they're making the rules? They had 2000 from last year. <laughs> just plug that on. Plug yeah. in that. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So that takes care of that category then. Um, what do we do on legal? Left it the same so that zero, zero there and then uh, match the previous budget for uh, grant yeah. match of 2000 And I don't think they need their own legal line anyway. I mean anything I mean that it's the slender is just select. Looks like they spent forty bucks. Yeah. 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 Oh, they're all one hour. Okay. So and then the CIP that's probably part of the bigger discussion and highway. And then I do at the end I have a list of some things that we didn't touch on that uh, we'll get through the other part first, but I've been making a list over the weeks of things we said we were going to address in the budget. Okay. So, what's your pleasure? Do you want to talk about wages first? Yes, Mark. So, do we have thinking around where we want to land with a percentage increase? the overall budget. I know last time we talked about somewhere between 10 and 15 percent. Is is our goal to try to get around 15 percent? Because I'm looking at this budget, there's there's it's not a lot to cut. It's not well, it's got a, you know the the, the 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 two big the two big gorillas in the room are with the CIP. you know what do we do with some of those items in the highway budget and what do we do what do we do about wages? Um, and the wages, assuming we're talking about another one percent, we had the figure last year. That re I mean, last meeting, that is that really isn't a lot of money, one way or the other. Um, I don't think anybody is is thinking we should do less than three percent. At least I haven't heard anybody say we should do less than three percent. No, it's it's just barely below five thousand dollars per 
one percent. Right. When I ran the calculations, that's all in. For, okay. For all of the adjustments with the different, you know, workman's comp and, and all of that, anything that's that's adjusted by salary, right? So every one percent nets, you know, a change of four thousand nine hundred ninety-six dollars. Five thousand. So call it five thousand dollars. Okay. So that's good to know because again, a a one percent increase over you know, the current year budget is about 15,000 bucks. So that would be a 3% raise for employees, putting it in perspective. Yeah. I see. Can I make a suggestion, Peter? Hello? Yes. Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you say that. Um, yeah. One thing that we, one thing that we could consider doing is trading, is getting rid of the mud season mitigation and using ARPA funds for mud mitigation. And that reduces it by a decent amount. You take out the 37.5 and then we say we're gonna commit whatever, 50,000 to mud mitigation from, um, from ARPA funds or however much. And that, I think mud mitigation is something like 37.5 or something. Can't it's 37.5. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, reduced it from it was 75,000. We would cut, so it, cut it in half. half. Yeah. So I'm not saying get rid of it. I'm just saying use different dollars. Don't put mm -hmm. it in the budget this year. But we know that it's going to be in the budget in subsequent years. So it's really just a harsh, a less harsh increase on the voters in March. Yeah, so we're using the ARPA money to uh, to act as our CIP effort. <laughs> right, right. Think of it as transitional. <laughs> yes, yes, right. it, yes. It's the first, you know, it's the step forward. Um, and that brings it down to eighteen point six five percent. Just just doing that, not cutting anything, just changing the shift of the money. So I think. And and I I believe it's a totally reasonable use of that money. There was some ins and outs of road uh, road expenses and what was allowed and what wasn't with the ARPA money. So we just need need to be conscious of that. I think that fit into it though. I I do too. I just I just wanted to voice that. Yeah. Ah, oh, the man of the hour is here. Oh, man. <laughs> Hi, Eric. Did you have an extra piece of cake I helped? No. 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 <laughs> so, and can I just finish my statement? Yeah. Without hurting anyone, we might also be able to take some of the, the CIP funding that we don't have to make a fund, a special fund for, because I think we want to keep in the ones that we want to do a special fund for to get those on the ballot. Like Sarah mm -hmm. said, we, the voters have to vote on that, but that we use ARPA funds to put toward the ones that we already maybe have, like 10,000 for the town hall building fund. Um, and Dorinda's, maybe, Dorinda's uh, shaking her head. No. You can't put ARPA money into a rainy day fund. That's not, yeah. you, it's not an allowed yeah. use. Yeah. So can I, okay. can I, tack right on to your train of thought here, Liz. Um, yeah. You know, one of the areas that I think we had some questions about in the budget committee and conversations around were, you know, the the idea of the salt shed and, and how, you know, is, is the temporary structure working? Um, is that something that could be utilized for two years instead of just dumping a whole building, you know, the money for the budget all in one year and kind of spread that out over two years. Um, we understand that there was, we had questions about whether or not it was working the way it was anticipated and what the, what that might look like for you guys. So the roof's not going to make it another year. Would you be able to set it up again, you the same for next year by under, Thinking like we might have to buy whatever you're using for a tarp structure. Could. How much is that tarp? One hundred sixty dollars. That's cheap. Yeah. Yeah. 
So that was a that was a thought that it's you know as as we were talking, yeah. just coming up with. I can't remember the number now. I think it was close to sixty thousand dollars. But if we split that mm -hmm. over two years, could we could we isolate thirty this year and put thirty in for next year, mm -hmm. and use this temporary structure till we get there? Yeah, I think the question we had, Randy, was if if we limped along with the temporary structure for another year, Eric, what would that mean in terms of potential waste of salt since oh, you know it, okay. it's sitting there? I don't put very much in there just because of it. So it's it's instead of having enough for a long time, I, I okay. every time every time we use some I order more. You're doing sort of just in time inventory then, somewhat similar to that. Okay. Um I just had a few comments hopefully that will um encapsulate my thinking. I'm I'm gonna follow up on Liz's comments and and Randy's. When I looked at this budget, I had in mind slashing $100,000 from it. If we did that, it would bring the increase down from 21 and change to 14.7, something around that. Bef no, I think that's, I can't remember if that's before the salary increases or not. Dorinda, you'll have to help me there. But I only looked at a few areas to cut. One was the salt shed going from 70,000 back down to 20,000, the, the services line. The second thing was cutting 20,000 from road and gravel from 100,000 to 20K. So that between the two of those, that's, that's 70,000 bucks. And then taking another 30,000 out of the CIP section to get us to 100,000. Because there just aren't a lot of places in this budget that we can effectively cut. There just aren't. I mean, we could go line by line through Eric's budget, but I don't know that it's I don't know that it's worth our time. There are only a few few big ticket items, and you know that's that's just the way it is this year. We're probably going to have to present a fairly large budget increase to the voters. So to answer your question, Mark, the budget did inc include the 3% uh, for the salary line items. Okay, great. I, so, I so that would bring us a shade under 15 if we cut 100,000 off our, off our budget. And again, I'm willing to cut what we proposed for the CIP funding in half to do that. Can I just put a point of clarification? Did you say take eighty thousand dollars out of the road and gravel and bring it from a hundred thousand to to twenty thousand? Did I get that? Vice no. Vice versa. No, take twenty thousand off. Okay, twenty thousand off. Bring it from a hundred to eighty. Oh, hundred to eighty. Okay, thank you. Oh, okay. Twenty thousand there, fifty thousand from the special services line item, and thirty thousand from the CIP section, and you have a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, so that fifty thousand okay. from the special services line item, that's the salt shed. Right. Yes. So that would that what would line still... is that? Could you tell me? 146. And that puts it down to 20, correct? Yeah, so to to get that that's salt shed right. in two years, we can make you know, you you'd have to carry fifty thousand for next year to make up the difference. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just to clarify, 146 that subcontractor? Yes. That's 70,000. You want to bring it down? Mark suggesting bringing that down to what? 50. 25. 25. 25. 25. To 25. Okay. Bring it down to 25,000, the subcontractor? Did you just say 25, Mark? I said 20. 20 even. Take 50,000 out of it. Sorry. There we go. Line 146. Correct. Yes. And then the gravel would have been and then line item 121 the, would move from 100,000 to 80 grand out of there. So you're basically doubling it from the previous fiscal year. Yes. I think that and makes if sense. We move, if we move from there to the CIP section for then, that additional additional reduction we'd have to figure out exactly 
which line items. Let's see here. Yeah, so one one thought I had was we could not we could decide not to fund the opportunity fund at all for next year. So remove ten thousand there. Um, bring bring uh, two seventy line number two seventy five down from thirty thousand to twenty thousand, and bring two eighty three vehicle purchases for the public safety fire department down to ten thousand from twenty thousand. And do this for a year just to get us, just to get us by. We're at least contributing something. Um, you know, it would be nice if we could use ARPA funds, but we understand we really can't do that. So make some contribution to the CIP section, but not what we proposed. So isn't isn't the choice though that we can use? potentially use some of that ARPA money for real expenses. We can't put it in a fund, but we can use it for real expenses, right, during the yes. So Yeah, I think I think you have to allocate it by the end of 2024 and spend it by the end of 2026. Is that true? I think that's um, right. I think that's correct, yes. Is that the same? I believe that's correct, Mark. So all, all okay. I'm saying is just, just something to think about is yes. to use more of the ARPA funds for our actual operation budgeted costs, which we can use them for, and oh, okay. put a little more money into the CIP, because I'm afraid if we don't start That's putting real money into the CIP, we're never going to get there. Yeah. And we do have yeah. we do have this ARPA money, and, and we need to spend it. So yeah. it looks to me like this is you, a good year to, to spend some of that and reduce some of the, reduce some of the other line items and take it out of the ARPA funds. So let, let me ask a, a technical question. With some of, the, some of the items that are in the CIP already have special accounts mm -hmm. associated with them. Mm -hmm. If that account has already been established, then we can put a proposed allocation just as part of the budget. If that, if there's another line item that we have here doesn't have a fund, we probably should not be including it in the budget, but have a special article that says, will the voters establish a fund right, and allocate right. So that becomes a special article. It's, it's out of this budget anyway. People can decide whether to vote for it or not. That's correct. That was my point last time. Okay. I'm having a hard time understanding how an opportunity fund falls into that. How so what, it's it's the same idea of all these different grant match line items that we have in these budgets to to be able to say that it's it's pushed into the to the CIP. That's really the Is it is it well okay. So is it a grant fund match? Fund or not necessarily. Ooh, then that's a discretionary fund and I don't think you can set aside a a special fund for discretionary. No. That's too iffy. Hi, we'd like you to give us $180,000 to spend as we might see fit, or not, depending upon what it is we need it for. Ooh, no. Yeah, I think originally the, the budget committee, and Mark, you can, you can chime in at any point if I go off track here, but it was originally talked about as specifically being for grant matches because we've seen more and more, yeah. Yeah. you know, grants coming through, right. um, and and I don't know. Yeah. At what right, point. exactly, exactly, Randy. We saw we see this trend continuing to move upward for grant matches. So we said, why don't we just say this is for grant matches because we know we're going to spend it. Just a question of when. Um, and then the discussion sort of came about to well, if we make it too specific, we can't use it, but. But you're right, Phil, it's it's kind of a slush fund. Yeah. I'm more comfortable with it being an a annual uh, amount in the budget based on what we think m we might have yep. in front of us rather than being in CIP. Right. So, and that, and that correlates with, you know, my offer to just strike the 10,000 and just, yeah. we, okay. we, can, we can take it out. Um, Peter, I have a question for you. If we're going to use yeah. ARPA money for current expenses, 
So are you proposing that of the 300 and some odd thousand left in ARPA funds, we simply use 100,000 to pay down the budget? Not necessarily that. that amount. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I want to put some money into the CIP. I mean, the whole idea is to start that out and start planning for the future. And if we don't do it, we're never going to do it. And this ARPA money, as much as it sort of stretches out over two or three years, it really is one-time money. I don't see that happening again. I mean, who knows what's really going to happen, but is the town of Middlesex so, ever going to receive money like that again? I don't know. Probably not. So following up on your thought, Peter, now I'm thinking maybe we do a hybrid approach. We we cut the budget as much as we think we can, and then we funds fund some of what's left with ARPA to bring us below the 14 point something percent. Maybe we can get it down to 10. I don't know. Oh, who knows? But all, all I'm saying is we can buy gravel with ARPA funds. We can buy mud season mitigation with, with ARPA funds. Okay. And, you know, our community is telling us that that's a good use of that money. So, all I'm saying is, and I don't, I, to get back to your previous question, I have no preconceived idea of, of what I think the final number should be, but, but lower is better. And no matter what, any of the increases we're talking about are dramatic increases compared to whatever we've had before. So. Yeah, I, I would suggest that we, that we um, do the cost cutting and then figure out what, how to supplement that with ARPA. There you go. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. It's a wise approach. Is yes, that, Sarah. I was gonna, is there any reason why you can't use our funds to do the salt shed? I mean, what are your cost increase by the trucking and salt every two weeks or whatever? No, no increase. No, they're going to deliver it anyway. They deliver it same price per ton. Maybe we it's can. It's just I mean, a matter that's, of that's how much we have on hand at any given point. I'm just wondering if, like, you know, if that's yeah. an extra call, like right to the grocery store once a week versus. And I think that's where we were talking about what are we going to lose in product yeah, yeah. if if no, that that if, roof if, wasn't if they holding could, up, so if to they speak. That's a tractor trailer load at one time. <clears throat> it's going to be is the price per ton is the price per ton. Right. So trucking's a difference. Yeah. That's why I was just going to ask. So is the trucking included yes. in the price per ton? Yes. That's all the cost. What we pay for. Price so, yeah. so getting back to getting back to Sarah's point, you know, when we finish this whole budget discussion and whatever the ARPA contribution is towards the budget and we get that all hatched out, then I think we get back to the question of, okay, here's what we've spent out of the ARPA funds, including the, the money we gave for the Wi-Fi we don't seem to be getting yet, and everything else, <laughs> and then decide if we want to put the money in yeah. to the salt shed as a as sort of a sidebar Back in. Well, end, of the conver end, for, end of the conversation issue. I don't think it's a bad idea. Well, I mean, we know that's something we need. I mean, worst case scenario, we can go another year. With, I'll just have to redo the roof. In the right. Time. Because it's lasting now, but it's not going to last. Yeah. And that was that was the sense that we had as we were talking I mean, about it. I mean, it's there. It's the built, you know, it's there and it's holding what we have. And obviously, it can be improved on. But yeah. Is or you do the old Vermont approach, you put the new tarp over the old tarp, you get, then you get the benefit of both tarps. It's like, you know, how many, how like many layers of new shingles over the How many layers, layers of shingles do you put on your roof before you finally tear them off or the roof collapses from the weight? <laughs> Can I ask a um, question of Sarah? Sarah, of the money in the CIP funding section, which is line 269 through um, the other stuff, 286, it looks like. Which would, what amount in line, in column E would have to be removed from the budget and put as a special article? Because that will automatically reduce our budget by just pulling it out and putting it as a special article. So I think you're raising a really good point, and I probably don't have all the answers. Dorinda probably has more of the answers because she knows all the funds that exist. And I really, I'm just looking for the board's direction. 
One is the political situation where you're going, the, the town has asked you to take care of these capital issues. Mm -hmm. And if you can come up and say, we listen to you, we put a special article for capital improvement, that's a great thing. People feel like we're putting into it. But they don't know is that by state law you have to have a road fund. And that you already have a building fund. And how many other funds do we have to bring this like? We have town hall building fund. We have, uh, well, we have recreation fund. We have the paving and construction fund. Bridge fund. Yeah. And all those, those AOT things, I would leave those aside. Because I think the state wants to see those as separately designated funds. Right? When you guys so apply for grants. Four well, they still here. would be separately uh, designated. Yeah. I just don't, you know, I know that's my why. We don't have a vehicle purchase. No, we do not have a vehicle. But the thought there, fund. Phil, was was to create a single fund for the CIP and not have each line oh. item have its own fund. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Versus yes, town or a uh, road equipment versus yes. fire. Yeah, sure. Yes. But yeah. so but anything they, that has an existing fund would yeah. remain the same. Right. So this would be would, this would be a perfect example. This would be a new one that we would put up as a special article to vote and ask for twenty thousand dollar allocation. What you really want to do is see you, you're in a you're in a you're in a high you're in a transitional system. You've got all these separate funds, but you also want to do a capital improvement fund, and some of them they overlap like mm -hmm. a Venn diagram. But you still can't put stuff into a fund. You can't roll it over every year if it's not in a designated fund. So do you create a bunch of little a lot more funds? Maybe three more no, funds. We're You've created a capital, capital improvement fund. fund. But then you say, to, so what you're going to do is you're going to put an article in the, in the morning that says, shall the town create a capital improvement fund to pay for X? And it shouldn't be too specific. It should be for... Right. Oh, okay. Yes. But well, it's so it's anything, it's anything that's approved through the capital improvement process plan. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but then you've got your, things that are approved through the capital improvement process plan also exist for funds that you already have. So you've got to ask the voters. Well, no, no guys, can, I, can, we, can we just back up a minute? I, I am against, I mean, here's the problem with special articles. You can say, oh yes, ha ha, the special article reduced the budget. Doesn't reduce our spending. <laughs> if that special article passes, it might as well be in the budget. So I'm, I'm reluctant about playing this, this special I, article game. I understand your political idea no, 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 that no, no. by making it separate, <laughs> It makes it more saleable, but don't get confused. We're spending the same damn amount of money. I, well, I hear you. All I care about is that when you guys are put creating, are, are asking the voters to roll over funds, that you actually have a fund to address that rollover year after year. Do you right. understand what I'm saying? Right, yes. So that's why you're going to, to create a special article. You won't have to do it again. If they approve that special article, yes, we agree that you have a fund that can roll over a year. You never have to go back to well, that. Well, we, we have to have a special article to approve the fund anyway. Yes, correct. But how much money we put into that fund is another and question. And how you describe that fund that's is, right. is my other concern, that's because right. you've got all these other little funds. Yeah. Guys, we need to. It's it's five of seven. I'm sorry, but that's we need something to you're have we to need to move this meeting. along and try and bring it to some kind of conclusion uh, for tonight. Anyway, yes, Mark. So I I still propose that we that we slash the hundred thousand from the the current budget. Start there. So if we do that, Dorinda, what does that get us down to? Well, if we take I that, caught everything everybody was. Rattling off, I'm down to 12.7 percent. Wow. However, I've been trying to. We have not put into this how we're going to pay for the town hall study. We have not put into this how we if if we should be budgeting anything for our tax appeals settlement. Um, Doesn't our? Can I just ask you a question about sure. that? Doesn't our tax appeal settlement come out of our tax revenue? I mean, there's, I guess it doesn't matter. But I mean, we have to budget it somewhere. Somewhere you got to account. We're going to have to set a tax rate to cover our expenses. Right. So do we have? And I know we talked about the numbers. I just don't have them on my head. But assuming it's what it what we think it is that we've got to go back whatever to, whatever it is to two years to the date of the appeal and refund those taxes. How much is it? I don't have that number. Do you really want to have that discussion? Yeah, right. probably not. No. Probably not. And pr probably not what? We don't have the numbers? No, 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 we don't want to have said don't, We don't want to have that conversation right now in the open meeting. Um, well, because we don't know what we're, we don't know what we're saying. Right. It's a right. pending litigation. 
Yeah. So those are a couple of things that we just haven't, you know, the other thing just to reiterate, which we have to, with the ARPA funds, we have to allocate them by 2024 and spend them by 2026. Yeah, we got that. So this is the 24 budget right. plus six months. You know, we've got beyond that. But, um, well, Liz, do we have any update or any thoughts about the cost of the town hall study, whether it's realistic that we're going to get that grant or get any grant or? Um, I, I don't know if it's, is it realistic? Certainly it's realistic. I just don't know how competitive it is this year. I will also say that um, one thing that worries me a little bit is that um, is that the new fund that's available for the 500,000 has money to do exactly what we're asking to do, but that money isn't yet available for us to apply for. Um, and so, and I wouldn't want to apply for it without knowing yet what we're applying for. So my fear is that they're going to say, well, that new, you know, um, municipal buildings repair grant is coming out. They can use money to pay for that. However, I just want to back up to say that months ago when we were talking about how we can spend the ARPA, we discussed as a group that if we did not get this grant, we would pull from the ARPA to pay for this. So I don't think it's something that needs to go into this year's budget. Yep, I agree. So we haven't discussed wages. But let, let, do we do we agree? Do we agree on hundred thousand as Mark has outlined? Sure. So we're at twelve we're at twelve point seven four with the wages at three percent. Is that right, Dorinda? And That's not putting anything in, not putting think. anything in for town hall improvement, and not budgeting anything for legal expenses or whatever we're right. calling it. Those CIP I don't items back to what they were originally. Uh, CIP, I have. So this is why I got for CIP: ten thousand in the town hall building fund, which we always do; five thousand for the highway garage, which we always do. Um, what about the so we're going to take the 30,000 out of the heavy equipment was that the suggestion actually uh, the suggestion was taking 10,000 on that uh, 283 uh, 10,000 out of 275 which was heavy equipment and take another 10,000 out of 283 which was vehicle purchases so 20, make that 20,000. Okay, wait a minute. So we went out here. So 20,000. So that brings us down to 12.4%. Okay. What about the $10,000 in the opportunity fund? That's gone. That's gone. Okay. Um, it is gone. Yeah. And the vehicle purchases was going to be zero. No, it's 10,000. For under yeah, public safety. Vehicle purchase is going to be 10 grand. Under fire safety? 283, yes, $10,000. Okay. 283 is at 10000 Okay. And recreation at 5000 Yes. So I came up with 12.04%. I think it's bigger than the 37. <laughs> what did we say? I have no idea. Did you keep the 375 in for mud season mitigation? No, I took it out. No, it's out. You, okay. You took that out? Okay. Yeah, I think that's what got us to 14 something to 12 something. Yeah, so now I'm at 12%. Yeah, I'm about the, the same. I I think that that's a reasonable place to. So there's nothing in mud mitigation anymore? No, so the thought I mean, is, is that moves to ARPA. And you know, so my train of train of thought is basically if we took some of those those road improvements, whether it's in the mud mitigation or the gravel. or the gravel itself, and and that's where the majority of this reduction comes. I personally think that 
I would rather see some of these CIP items, you know, continue to move forward and not see such the cut there. If we're going to use the ARPA money, let's let's pull more money out of some of this road work and use the ARPA money there to, to give a push to this CIP. That's my personal preference. Um, you know, I think I think it's an, it's important to push this thing forward. Yeah. Um, and I just That's exactly what I said. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I, so that'd be started. that'd be my preference is to leave the CIP stuff other than the opportunity fund because I do agree with Phil that that's that's too wishy washy and that should be included in the general budget items. Um, and, and roll it into that grant match yeah. piece we had somewhere. I, so I do agree with you there. So, so how much money do you want to put back on the CIP? I would leave it at Mark's original proposal of the 60k less the 10 for the for the grant match or opportunity funds so that puts us at 50,000 out of the CIP um, as as it was proposed from the budget committee um, and then Randy, could you tell us what the line items are could you go through the CIP starting at line 269 and telling us what you want it to be yeah so 269 the town hall building fund was $10,000 my proposal would be to leave that the same. The highway garage accessory building fund was five thousand. The heavy equipment, I believe that was thirty thousand to start. Um, the bridge fund. Do you want to leave that at thirty? Only to drop it to twenty. Yes. So, th what I'm proposing is slightly different from what Mark did. Oh, okay. Um, so that would stay at thirty thousand, based on what I'm proposing. The six thousand for the bridge fund stays. The 30,000 for the paving fund, construction fund stays, and the vehicle purchases for the fire department stays at 20,000. So then what do we need to take out of the construction budget and pay for with ARPA funds to do that? So the mud mitigation was 37.5. So either that can stay in the main budget and we just remove a larger chunk of the road gravel for ARPA funds. It would make sense to me to remove move it out of one move it from one light item instead of multiple. So the 37.5 could stay in the main budget, and then we just take and reduce the um, the road gravel to accommodate the difference that we're looking for in the budget. So if it's a fifty thousand dollar line item, so keep it to where it is right now. We'll we'll move that move that line item 121 that would move you for road gravel. To a thirty thousand dollar line item with the fifty coming from our plan. Yeah. Okay. So you got we got one twenty one is one hundred thousand dollars now, and I just want to make sure I understand this. You're going to take uh, you're going to remove that entirely. Well, I mean, hold We're on, because there's a couple of the ARPA funds. I just want to be clear. There's a couple different proposals, and, yeah, yeah. and it gets kind of confusing. Oh, so, so line one twenty one. Would be thirty thousand dollars. It started off today at a hundred. Right. Okay. You make that thirty. Make thirty. That 30. The mud mitigation line item. And which number is that? Which is hold on. Uh, yeah, find it. Uh, two hundred two. Stays at the thirty-seven five hundred. Okay. What, what number was that? Two hundred two. Two hundred two. Okay. And then the CIP stuff um, back at, I think it starts at 269. 37. It's back to 30. 30. So 269 is 10,000. 274 is 5,000. 275 is 30,000. 276 is 6,000. 277 is 30,000. And 283 is 20,000. And did you guys, are you looking at And you missed the 5,000 under 286. 286 is 5,000. Yes. Yes. So then I get a 12.5% increase. 12 okay. I have 12.54. That's before wages. Yeah. And that's, with 3 percent, that's with 3%. That's with 3% wage increase. And what about mm -hmm. consultant? Line two, what is that? One, whatever. Is that down to twenty thousand? You're leaving the taking it from seventy to twenty. Uh, the salt. salt Hold on. Yes. 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 So that goes down to twenty. Okay. What line is that? Larry? Yep. One forty-six. Yep. Yes, twenty thousand dollars. So. And 
I'm sorry, Randy. Go ahead. So I would actually, if we were going to use ARPA money for the salt shed, I would actually make that $30,000, which is half of the cost of the building for the salt shed. So we spread it over two years evenly. Right. We're but still that, under. What eight. is the salt shed line again? 146. 146. So but that's not going to roll over unless it's in a special fund. That's right. right. So that I only made it twenty. Um, I made that just twenty thousand dollars. Is that what? That's what the on? previous. That's what the previous proposal was. I say we. Okay. I say we. I say we leave it there and just plan when we get to the end of this whole process and we look again at okay. the ARPA funds. Say do we just take the extra money out of the ARPA funds and melt the salt shed or don't we? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What number is that at? Twenty thousand now. It's, it was at twenty. I said I proposed leaving it at thirty. But Peter, the salt shed? yeah, because that's yeah. still 146. Yep, that keeps we'll us keep down. That keeps 146. us down below the 15 percent. So and you if, want that 30,000 on 146. If we so chose to to pick up some additional road cost or something with the ARPA funds, we could drive that down even further. But now I have it 13.16 percent increase, but I might have got, gotten something along that. Really I got 13.2. Yeah. So. Okay. Before special. I'm I'm really fine with either with either thing. I mean, are we have we settled on the idea that we're going to stick with the three percent on the wages? No. I don't think we've no. talked about it really. Well, I'm just I'm, I'm just saying that's the system. other big gorilla in the room. I would I would personally like in all these in all these moving pieces. And I've thought a lot about this. So I'd like to bump the wages up to four percent, but to bump them up four percent instead of three percent. But that's that's fifteen grand right there. I'm looking for more than you are. I know you are. <laughs> so I think I mean, we've thrown. I so think much. you're talking about a half a percent or so, yeah. something to that effect yeah. over the whole the whole budget on a one percent. That only brings it up to thirteen and a half percent. Only. If you make it a four percent raise. I'm just, you know, from I just think we've worked so hard, we've worked so hard to get our wages where we think they want to be, and we're battling this damn inflation thing, and we can't, absolutely, we can't back away. Yeah. Um, let me just ask a procedural question. Sarah, are we in trouble if we don't adopt a budget tonight? No. How, when do we have to? Well, March. I don't know exactly. I would say the um, uh, 19, 20, 19 is a uh, Monday, right? So know, we can at least wait two more weeks. Well, let's, oh, I yeah. mean, what's I stopping us from getting there, from having the conversations tonight? Because well, Peter had said, you know, we're, we're getting late. I mean, I'm, I'm willing to stay the duration if you want to do the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, I just I just think we're almost there. Okay. I just assume plug through this. Let's get through okay. this tonight. Okay. Um, you know, it's only. Hold, hold on. I just have something to say that I didn't. I was just going to wait till the end because I didn't think that we were going to necessarily approve it. I think there might be some. If we were going to approve an actual number, Dorinda, I think there might be something funky with the unemployment. I was looking at the formulas for the unemployment. Um, it's very minor. It's just in the hundreds of dollars. But if you want it to be perfect, I think. I, I would like you to just double check the unemployment insurance um, uh, carryovers um, in the budget. Um, I'll just give an example. Um, I think it was something like um, under admin for unemployment, it includes some unemployment from one of the road crew. Under admin? Under admin? Yeah, like under line 36, 283.69 says it equals the salaries from the L, you know, L18, L30, and L45. But like one of the salaries is L45 is James file. Okay. And some of the people don't have unemployment, and some do. Like, are the zoning people supposed to have anybody who's elected? Anybody? The health officer? Right, because it's minuscule. It doesn't even fall over. They don't. Um, 
the zoning might, but zoning had some uh, payroll taxes in there, but I'll have to look. Um, yeah, all I'm saying is it's very minor, but if you want a perfect number, I think that it won't be slightly perfect because I think there's something off on some of those other parts. That's all. Yeah. We don't get anybody elected you don't take unemployment out of because they can't right. collect. So that's one thing. Um, but I will look at the unemployment numbers. And then it gets capped off, too. So I, right. right. So if we make if we make the changes that we discussed and we put the salt shed on sidebar thinking we might pay for the salt shed out of ARPA funds or we might defer it for a year or who knows what we'll decide to do and we go with a 4% pay raise where does that put us Yeah, we have time. Okay. I just the the problem is every time we discuss this, no, we, we almost get there and then we forget what we said at the previous right. meeting. And I just I've been we, looking at these numbers so long, my eyes are starting to crop. We have no memory retention anymore. <laughs> well, well, that's, that's one of those old age I really things. I don't want to vote on a budget tonight without seeing a final spreadsheet. And we've talked about so many changes, and I don't want there to be any kind of weird thing. I don't mind. I don't. I don't mind that, but I don't want to go back back and start rehashing all this stuff again. No, right. So as long as Dorinda's, as I long have, as Dorinda's got the changes in her spreadsheet and she can double check it and review it, I'm all for waiting to approve it for the next. Uh, I come up with thirteen point five two. With the numbers. I think I have about that too. I have thirteen point. Um, Is that with a 4%? Or yes. That's with a 4%. 4 8. 4 8, yeah. So it's just a matter of. Uh, something there's something in one of those things or whatever, but you're not talking a lot of money difference there. So. And that's with 146, the salt shed at 30,000? 30, 30, yes. One one forty six is thirty thousand. Okay. And I didn't hear. So well, that... if we dropped, if we dropped it to twenty thousand. That would even, wouldn't even drop us a percent. No. 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 Two thirds of one yeah. percent. Yeah. And the road gravel, I put it thirty thousand. Was that right? Line one twenty one. Yeah, it's because we were pulling fifty thousand from ARPA. Yeah. Are we good then for tonight? I think so. Um, we didn't really have that many um, changes. Well, um, we had I, I we like had real changes, changes, but the changes were in the big numbers. We didn't change a lot of the little accounts. And as as we all yeah, know, we, some of those accounts are are a lot of them are estimates. They're gonna some are gonna be higher, some are gonna be lower. Right. You can you can sit here all night and argue about the one and two hundred dollar thing. Yeah, right. Yes, sir. One last thing: the thirteen point five percent increase includes a three percent wage increase or a four percent. Four. 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 I can't hear perfect. And the um, hundred. So you've taken the road gravel is now not a hundred thousand; it is twenty thousand. Correct. Okay, Correct. Okay, that's all. Right. Thirty. Thirty. Thirty thousand. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I have thirty on it. Okay, that's what I had. Sarah. Uh, yeah. I think people don't understand, general people don't understand the percentages of budget increases. Like if I were to read it and I didn't know anything about budgets, I would think that of that 13%, 4% is this is a salary increase. Okay. And that's not the case. Really only probably of that 14% or 13 and a half, a half a percent is that 4% salary increase. Right. No, I think I, so I, just think I got that. So just word it. Yeah, it's two two percent roughly is the salary increase. Right. It's about a half a percent for each percent. Yeah, it's it's small. Yeah, maybe make that clear because people aren't going to understand. Well, hopefully you'll be there. So that that four percent is is roughly twenty thousand dollars of the overall increase. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Guys, we're gonna have. A pretty serious sales job to do about this budget to explain. I mean, between the between the CIP piece, 
between the wages, people are going to want to know about that, and just why all of a sudden is it 13%? Well, all of a sudden it's 13% because the cost of, you know, whatever the number is, the big percentage of our budget is the road stuff, and everything in that road stuff item, the costs are going up like a, like a skyrocket. So, but I'm just saying we need to be ready. A, I think we need to prepare, very carefully prepare a written piece when we do our select board report, really pay attention to how we do that. Budget committee needs to pay attention to their report so that we make it clear and consistent between the two what we're, what we're trying to do. And uh, there you go. But we've got, we've got some work to do. We're not, we're not proposing a 35 or 4% increase. We've never proposed an increase like this. No. But we've never had the reason to either. No, sir. So I'm going to say we are through with the budget discussion this evening, and thank you very, all very much. I think we're really close. Well, thank you. All right. All right. I'll yeah. sign off. Thanks, folks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, guys. So I have a quick um, Welch Park update. I have been going... Uh, Going back and forth with uh, with Carl and with the lawyer for the uh, for Benderson, and he is now running a proposal by his uh, legal department where we are going to disband Welch Park. Basically, what's going to happen? And this is just a proposal. We haven't agreed to this yet, but basically, what's going to happen is um, uh, Benderson is going to take over the fire pond, everything to do with the fire pond, the pumps, the all that. And the town is going to agree to maintain the road and the whole Welch Park thing is going to go away. So there will be no more accounting for the town of Middlesex, no more, no more. So what happens to like insurance policies and things like that? How is it covered? It's the, 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 everybody's going to have to have their own insurance. The, 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 that, that whole one. thing is just going to go off into the ether, which is... What does that mean for the fire department with the, if they're taking over the pond, the pumps, you know, all that kind of stuff? Well, that so all pertains to Benderson's building. Yeah. So yeah. that building is their building? The only pump that's on that pond is for their building. So the, the fire department doesn't actually have any. We have, we have a, a, a well that we can tie into to pump water out of it, but we do not have a pump hooked to that. But isn't that our land? What our land? The, the, land, the piece of property that the pond sits on, isn't that? It's the association's land. Oh, it's not. I thought it was allocated to the town's percentage they've been paying right along. It's not. No. And it, 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 this is all, I mean, it's got to come back from Benderson's legal department. When it does, I will send you out a written copy of the contract and we can discuss it. But we are very close, I think, to having an agreement to do away with this longstanding problem. And that, I think, is good news. With the understanding that we're going to take over the maintenance of the road, which we're basically maintaining anyway. Well, yeah, I think I was just concerned with negative impact to the fire department yeah. hearing not knowing the situation and so there are two there are two little pieces to this one is there is a pump down in the river and a pipeline a power line that goes to that pump and a water line which goes up to fill the fire pond so we if we take over the road we're going to have to give benderson an easement we're not going to maintain any of that stuff but we're going to give them an easement to run it across our our land. Um, and the other piece is we give up a couple of things which I think are of dubious value, one being, one being um, the right to put a leach field up the other side of the fire pond because there's common land up there. But why we would ever, ever under any circumstances want to put a leach field up there and pump our septic all the way up that hill when we have plenty of land right where we are to put in another septic system if we needed to. So, you know, I think, I mean, there's a little give and take in this, but um, we're not giving, we're not giving up very much, and we just solve all this whole issue of, you know, billing and collecting that's, you know, driven Dorinda crazy for a long time and really isn't the town's business. We shouldn't be doing it. So, 
I think there's going to be. Isn't there a third party in the association? Or is it just the two, Benderson and the three of us? There's us, Benderson, and Carl. Right. Okay, we gave we let that one person out, the person who has the house down the down the road. Oh, okay. Well, no. The old Ferd Wells place. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But but anyway, en en enough said for tonight. But Dorinda, you can you could smile a little bit, just a little bit. Because I think we are we are really close, and I mean by close, like maybe a month away. There is going to be some legal expense to this, but apparently they're satisfied that Benderson can take over the permits. So, you know, we won't have a public water supply permit. All that stuff, which has been driving us crazy all these years, is just going to go away. And Carl's okay with this? More than okay. He, I mean, I know he wanted to get out a long time. Well, it's a, it's you know it's yeah. it's a thorn in his side, just okay. like it's a thorn in our side. So anyway, that's the Welch Park update. Excellent. Treasurer's report, Dorinda. Don't have one. Got anything? <laughs> Don't Highway one. department. Pray it doesn't drop down to 25 degrees tonight and rain. Correct. I think we'll be okay tonight. We're more we're more concerned for tomorrow night. Yeah. What was the? We talked about the generator. Tonight? What's the forecast? Well, I brought some information about maybe a generator for the uh, town garage. ARPA funds. <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> We're not talking big money. I just want to make sure. I, I mean, I was horrified, mm -hmm. A, to discover we didn't have a generator down there. I don't know why I thought we did. But B, to realize that we couldn't even open our garage doors without a generator. Or pump our fuel. Well, pump our yeah. fuel, yeah. But if you can't get the trucks out of the garage, you, can't, you, you don't need any fuel. Well, we didn't park them in the garage that Friday. Yeah. But. No, no, no. I know. But, I, but I'm just saying, you know, we definitely need to figure out a way to have it, and you know, I don't know, what is it, $1,000 for a generator? Uh, well, depending on a few of them I looked at, it ranged from 1400 to 3100 Yeah. What, 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 what fuel? Gasoline. Gasoline. Uh, actually, uh, the more expensive ones, there's two of them around three grand and 3100 Those are... Um, the dual. Dual, dual fuel. fuel. Yeah, and this is something that uh, that you look at. It it, it, it it kicks on automatically. No, no. So no port, you don't have a port, portable generators or stationary. They're portable. Yeah. They got wheels and handles. Yeah. Um, the 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 garage is all wired. It's, it's for wired. It's just about the switches there. It just okay. it's, okay. got it, it's got a plug outside, and then you may, yeah, your so you your main breaker switch. switches over to the generator, and then it yep. it's all wired in for it. Yep. Just and you've got. The, the cable for it. We just don't have the generator. How come we did? How, we never had one. I think it was borrowed <laughs> from <laughs> from. Uh, such freaky dick. Bulldog. Not bulldog. Uh, down here, not Barrett's, but uh, Newton's. Newton. Yeah. So Eric, in the meantime, I have a nice electric start Honda generator that I would like to loan to the road crew. And whether that will do everything you need it to do, I don't know, but it would certainly raise the garage doors and pump the fuel, and I'm not using it. So someday, when you have a little spare time, give me a call and come over. I need help getting it out of the garage, but it's ready to go. Yeah, I think you need it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Certainly. Okay. Five days without heat in there. I was a little nervous. Approving minutes of the December 20th, 2022 Select board meeting action likely. Is there a motion? Move. Moved by Randy. Uh, seconded, seconded by Bick. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Abstain. Abstain. Thank you. Um, orders are here somewhere, I presume. Okay. Correspondence? No. Okay. It's very Oh, I'm sorry? the correspondence is the, uh, is the one from the state about the CLA, the common level of appraisal. Yeah. Sent to you. That well, means we have to go out because we dropped below the 85%. Right. You don't have to. I thought you had to once you drop below the 85. No. No. It's, you're, you're okay. You've got a, another year. But oh, we're right on the edge. We've you're got right one on more year. Why would we wait? 
You know, we should be Mike capturing Taylor. some of this, all these house sales that happened. Yeah, well, Sooner I think, than to later. be fair, the blisters have already advertised, have already sought and sought proposals for a town-wide reappraisal and have, uh, are ahead of the game. They've sent them all out, and got some, so they've, they've gotten some replies and they've got some returns, so they're working on it. But that wouldn't happen until when? Next year. I think they're trying their, they're trying their hardest. They have a fund for that. All right. The, the state plugs money into that. It would be next year and then take a And didn't they say that it was going to be a year before anybody had time to do that anyway? Yeah, it's really a matter of just yeah. scheduling because everybody's in the same boat. If you read the Times Argus, you know, Barry's stuff. Yeah, it's, it's but it takes two years to do it, is that correct? And the problem, Jake, is that everybody's back. The appraisers are backed up. And yeah. there aren't that many to begin with. But the it listeners have been working on it. It did last time take two, like. Right. The listeners yeah. have been working on this for like four months at least, not more than that. So, uh, um, yeah. the general budget, you know, didn't you provide this? Yeah, I gave you last recently. meeting. I That's what I thought. Yeah. Thank you for the, yeah. 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 thank you very much for the, uh, for these yeah. employee sheets. Now, how are we gonna how are we gonna distribute those? Well, they're not ready for distribution. That was for you to use because you wanted to see where. They weren't for distribution. Okay, all right. Because this doesn't look like it, I wanted to look at the tool. Yeah, I had a chance to look it was, at it. Either. It was used to so you could base knowledge on what people were bottom line so was like making. So I pulled the pay from last year and compare or overall compensation, not just pay, but yeah. I compared compensation from last year to compensation of the proposed year and what the overall increase was. So this isn't just salary; it's overall it's all the other, value all the other of the stuff. employee. Right? Yeah. So. Yeah. That's why I had asked for them. Okay. Um, Liz, were you saying it was those individual sheets that had the calculation error or on the... No, the budget itself. The budget itself? Yeah, it was just the carryover. You know how you, were, you, you, you go to the other sheet and you right. say it equals L plus this plus this. I think there were a couple of errors in some of those. Um, at least in the admin, there was one and then... Um, You said it was the unemployment. Oh, I think that maybe the road crew was a was no the road crew I think was fine, but he double counted the road crew and the admin or something. But whatever. Um, okay, I'll. Okay. Oh. Um, the admin looks fine to me. Liz, do you know the specific line item? Because I'm looking at line ten for the line admin, nine. and that looks fine. Uh, let's see. Um, unemployment line 36. It says equals salaries L18 plus L30 plus L45. But when you go to those. I think it's 40. Oh, it's. You're talking to line 40, Liz? 41, maybe. Line it's not four. line 45, because that's James Poucher. No. Or James Files. So on the on the 2024 budget tab, I'm looking at line uh, E40. And there, I've got some stuff that I'm wondering if that's what you're talking about. Um, no, I was just looking at the unemployment. OK, just the Thanks. unemployment. I had just looked at unemployment, yeah. yeah. I hadn't gotten far, far enough to see if the calculations made sense on the others. But the unemployment, if you look at that, that's saying that it's okay. L, 1830 and 45, and L, 18 is total office staff, which is fine. Yeah. L30 is Mitch, which yeah. I assume is fine. Which fine, But yeah. 45, does it does grab uh, files. Okay. I see what it you're saying. files, and so that should be taken out, but I'm not right. sure if you should, also add in the zoning people. It should be 41. It should be, yeah. Okay, I'll look but at maybe that. Maybe 35 instead? Now that, I know what you're talking about now. I couldn't figure out what you were talking yeah. about. Okay. So I just don't know, that's all. Okay, thank you. These should be passed around. 
Thank Are we adjourned? No. Not quite. <laughs> I'm sure this leader left the room. I saw he left and I said maybe I missed it. Maybe but. <laughs> if he doesn't come back, we're all in trouble. Um, as far as the, the generator goes, uh, first thought that pops into my head is looking at the status report when we come to the end of this year and see where we're at with the overall budget and if if there's I don't know where we there sit won't be for room the left in their budget I don't think are you no guys way. you running real hot so no that's, but I don't I know that the equipment repairs and and equipment itself was in a uh, it was a fairly significant category this year and I wasn't sure how we were doing with that but if there was anything remaining I, that's where my head went yeah there should be I'm trying to keep no, no, I'm not criticizing you. It's just you didn't make the budget, so it was like, um, let's see, I can tell you where you're at right now. Uh, equipment, parts, and supplies, equipment repairs. Which one would you like it under? I would say parts and, or uh, just equipment in general, equipment purchase. I don't know if they have that. There is a. Is there one call? Okay, equipment purchase. You haven't spent anything. Yeah, I was going to say There's last only 1500 in the budget, though. Last time I looked at the... There's, there's two years in fit. Right, but I'm just I think you want something big enough. Like, I think that $3,000 line item, you can get a significant... Yeah. Uh, $1,500 one is $10,500. Yeah. And the one I borrowed from Bulldogs was 65 but will that run the modines in there? It ran the modines. Okay, you gotta have 220. Yeah, so that's where I was going with. Or it doesn't run both sides of the panel. Right. No one runs one side of the panel. Right. If you have 220, you run both sides. You run the modines. You just can't run. Some guys would do it with robots. Some guys would do it with modines. At the same time. Right. right. So you're certainly not going to run the hot water. It wasn't yeah, three thousand dollar one. So I know. No. So I had a fifteen. All, all four of these. A fifteen k generator. Okay. Oh, okay. That I was looking at was thirty four hundred dollars for a fifteen kW continuous. It's a twenty. It's a twenty two five uh, starting, but it, it jets back. It's just a gen rack. Um, so these but are these are the uh, tractor supplies. Uh, oh, my commercial is still so we're full and we're four full yeah. in favors everywhere. What the hell? Ten five, thirteen thousand. Twenty twelve five, and two of them are twelve five. The most expensive ones were the twelve five, but they were multi fuel. Yeah. So that gen rack is a single. It's just gasoline only, but it's got a. It's perfectly. Yeah, it, it, I mean it's electric start. Like I said, it was twenty two five starting. With a 15 kW uh, continuous, it's plenty enough to run what you need to there. Um, My fire is up and runs the whole house. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got this, this one here, continuous, was... Uh, the bad thing about it, it takes propane. And it's probably 80% of that 12. It will not give you enough storage. So once you start running like a day or two, the they got to call them up. they got to come in. They don't like doing that. Yeah, I don't think he has. I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> We're going. Yeah, I'm going to get it. So anyway. Hey guys, are we done? No. Yeah. Uh, I hope. We say we are. <laughs> That's continuous. I say we are. It's um, here. Yeah. Here. I know that you're going to be um, busy in the next few days. You should be getting at some point um, an electronic uh, signature request for the for the contract for VIA. I did get I did get an email today. I didn't read it, so that may be that. It, it doesn't have it on it. It just said that it's going to be come. It's going to come to you probably through DocuSign or something. Okay. So, All right. Well, I'll have my I'll have my email with me wherever I am. Right. What? Okay. Are we done? Yes. We are adjourned. We're signing the orders. Three of us signed a minutes list, so you don't have to worry about the minutes. Perfect. Thanks, everybody. Good job tonight, everyone. Thank you, Liz. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thanks, Liz. Bye. Happy New Year. Bye. Happy New Year to you. Bye. 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 Have any of you seen any um, uh, Facebook or Twitter posts about the Bulldog Center petitions? Peter, you're kind of plugged in. Have you seen anybody circulating those? No, I have not. <laughs>